ISO 14001 is the internationally recognised standard for environmental management and provides you with tools to help you reduce your environmental impact. ISO 14001 adopts a Plan Do Check Act approach which helps with continual improvement. It establishes systems and processes to help improve your environmental performance and it applies to all types and sizes of organisations. An effective environmental management system will help you save money, energy and the environment. It will also help with you achieving and complying with legal and industry legislation. ISO 14001 has been developed using the new high-level structure. This gives greater consistency to all management standards that are being issued by ISO. These changes include a restructure of the layout, the word product has now changed to products and services. Risk reviews are now formally part of the standard. Changes in terminology reflect the increase in changes in complexity, demanding and the dynamic environment in which companies operate. The standard has gone from eight sections to now ten. There is no longer a requirement to document every procedure. A greater level of strategic direction alignment than ever before aim to be used as an integral component of organisation sustainability development objectives, using simplified and current terminology to aid the understanding of those adopters. And documents and records are now combined as document information. It is really important to remember that you don't have to do anything until the final standard has been published and the requirements are known. If you're currently certified, then you'll need to monitor the changes, talk to your client manager or assessor, consider the integration opportunity that Annex SL presents with existing management systems. PAS 99 provides the ideal framework to help organisations integrate their systems. Start to make senior management aware of the changes that are coming and a transition plan will need to be developed and resources required. Consider purchasing the draft when it becomes available. If you are developing a system, continue working towards certification against the current ISO 14001. BSI will issue certificates against this version until a new standard is published. The ISO 14001 International Committee are still working on the new standard. Key timings are likely to be the draft international standard, known as the DIS, is expected to be published for ballot around September 2014 but these timings may move. The final draft international standard, known as the FDIS, is expected to be published for ballot early 2015, and the international standard is expected to be published in late summer 2015. We suggest you keep up to date with the latest timings on our website at bsigroup.com. Although the transition period has not yet been agreed, it is likely to be a two or three year period for existing ISO 14001 clients. The ISO committee publishes drafts of the new standard at different stages along its revision journey and typically this can take anything up to three years and you will have the opportunity to comment through your own national standards body. In the UK this is BSI and you can do this by visiting our website at bsigroup.com. The key stage for you to comment on is when the draft international standard or DIS is published and at this stage you will be able to comment on each clause. The UK committee will then review all comments before feeding these back to the main ISO committee.